So does a fake fair catch ring anything for you when I even say that word? See, I, I our good friend Jay Barker put that out there and he said, hey, this is a must-see. And I went, fake fair catch? Okay, right away, I don't like it. And I'll tell you why I don't like it. Here's how it happened. You can watch it a bunch of times. If Again, you're you're watching this uh, uh, live or later on on rawmikerichards.com or our dedicated YouTube channel. Here's what it looked like. Here's what it sounded like on the weekend. Once again, Arkansas punting to North Texas. And that will be appreciated. A little spinner on that. That's a smart play to catch that out of the 10-yard line there by Keegan Brewer. Wait a minute. So North Texas has come into Fayetteville and showed well, he, no he's signs never made of a fair it. catch. Oh, he's now he's running. a fair catch signal. He's gone. Brewer down the sideline. This is going to be a touchdown. He caught that in the 10. Nobody thought he was going to do it, and he took off. Yeah, I, I was thinking to myself, I didn't see a fair catch sign, but uh, he kind of stopped. Everybody else stopped. This is in Arkansas, by the way. There was no whistle blown, and away you go. I quickly admit, I stopped. Listen up. So, so they're going to replay it, and they show the guy. You're trying to see if he waved. Did he make an action? He kind of didn't. And then he goes. And that's when I looked away when he stopped still. Okay, so the thing that strikes me is people say, what a great fake fair catch. Well, number one, that's really, you can't have a fake fair catch. Either you make the signal or you don't. Here's why it's a problem for me. It worked because the guys in North Texas, the coaches, who sit in the quote-unquote dark room, the guys who watch what we used to call film, I don't know if they call it that anymore, they are familiar with this really crappy Arkansas team, especially on special teams in their coverage, that they kind of give up. They saw at certain points when they run down, because th this was decided just seconds beforehand, if they don't <laughs> follow through on punt coverage, there's a chance if you just catch it and kind of stand there that they give up. That's what they saw. That's, what they that's why they did it. What I don't like is when people start talking about these little gimmick plays or a fake fair catch because I'll tell you what's going to happen. And you know what's going to happen, Ooh, Dave. Yeah. If Lower the boom. Someone's going to say, I'll take the 15 yards and <laughs> obliterate and obliterate the guy. Because guess who would be doing that? Yeah, you're listening to him right now. If there's any sort of shenanigans with whether the hand came up or whether there was waving and there's any confusion, that's what that will do. Football is trying to stay away from these kinds of things. Huh. Just watch the NFL this past weekend on trying to avoid people getting hurt, especially the quarterback. We understand it, but there were some calls on the weekend in the NFL I looked at, and I thought, okay, well, that's clearly not a penalty, but because it was Aaron Rodgers. I mean, there were a lot of things that happened that make me a little nervous about the future of football, but getting back to this, it wasn't a, a, a fake fair catch. What it was was an Arkansas team that just is, is not disciplined enough. They're, they're, they're lazy in their coverage, and they got burned by it, but I, I'm hoping, Dave, and praying, that all of a sudden teams don't try to – I mean, the fair catch was brought in to eliminate guys getting blown out. That's why in Canada you have the five yards. But pe the fact that people got excited about it, let's call it what it was. Garbage coverage, but I hope I don't see a wave of guys trying to do this because if I'm a special teams coach, I just have a bad feeling that somebody who said, well, we'll take the 15, but if they're going to start – pretending or, or a half wave or whatever it is very you know when i mean dangerous i'm saying dangerous uh I, I get that it worked but i'm not in love with it no it's a it's a massive danger if something like that goes the other way so so what happens if if a uh, coverage team blows up the guy on the 10 yard line and people sit there and say oh he 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 he, he kind of waved he said no he didn't he did not even remotely come close to that also in a situation like that you only get to do that once in your life because guess what happens the next time it's remotely close? Yeah. It's like you said, they'll take the 15-yard penalty and have a couple laughs quietly in the dressing room going, see, I told you. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep.